Hey guys, how's it going? Kevin Lambert, Goon Glass and Rubber coming here from the Fiberglass Factory in the 446 and we're going to be putting some gas tanks together. Alright, so I have some leftover sludge that I made and uh, I put it into a little baggie and this is how I fill in the radiuses. Alright, so this one's actually it's getting a little more rigid than I would like. We're going to see if it will work its way out. So we use the rest of this and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll make another one. So you guys are going to get to see this process. I'm not, not too aggravated about that. So we goop up these radiuses first and uh, a lot of people just throw a laminate in there. A very, very, very wet laminate at that. And uh, I like to actually basically caulk the seams. So, you might actually damn near get all of them here. So, we're going to get her in here. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to put some more stuff in here. Alright. Show me a new popsicle stick, bud. I don't think that worked out fair. Yeah, There we go. Got it that time. Alright, so we're gonna, we don't need a whole lot. So we're not gonna get a whole cup. Alright, so you guys are gonna get to see this little process here. it up. So I'll mix it up and I'll put it here in my little baggie. And that's how we'll start this little process. So it's a little warmer than I expected today so I over catalyzed and that's fine I guess. That's the way she goes. So this will get me Alright, so what I do is I, now you see it's like a little sack right there guys, sorry, camera angle. It's like a frosting dispenser. Cut the tip. There you go. Of course you like frosting, eh? So, yeah, it's spreading a lot better here. Alright, that's good. That's what we want. We want a nice, good, thick spread. Good and thick. Don't you like them thick, Nick? Alright. Okay, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely getting a lot thicker. Okay, let's do it in there. Do it in here. Get the rest of this out of here. Right. So that's done. Next thing I'm going to do is dispense some resin. And this should damn near get us where we need to be. So we'll swirl it here. Now we're going to get the next part. Now before I lay in the laminate in here, guys, I actually like to smear and move that slurry around a little bit. So I take a wet brush and I'll move it through here just to get the radiuses taken care of. There you go. I just check for any kind of voids. That I might have, and I don't see any. So we're moving on to our next process. But this is how I do all my gas tanks. I basically caulk them in, so I seal them in, and I laminate them. All right. So we're already getting good dark here. We're gonna get to the work and get to the good work. So she 
you get dark fast. All right, so I'm going to wet out these strips over here. You guys probably can't see it, but I'm going to wet them out. This is how I do it. I'm pretty sure there's other ways people do it, but this is how I do it. This is what I prefer. This is my personal recipe that I use, and I'm imagining other guys have used too. From the Just a shout out to Phil Little, Phil Little Race Products. He actually, uh, he actually is. I would credit him as the guy who taught me. Um, how to do the gas tanks. So, I appreciate that. I was very reluctant a few years ago to start doing it. I said I'd never do gas tanks, and here I am doing gas tanks. And teaching. Yeah, and teaching people how to do gas tanks. So, some people might be like, well, why are you showing people your little tricks? And it's like, well, you can ask uh, my buddy Nick, who works with me over here. Some legends every day. Yeah, well, there's that. Honestly, I mean, when you look at it, it's it's this is a lot more difficult than people think. I think a lot of people think that this fiberglass stuff is real easy to do, and it's not. It's uh, it's definitely a skilled trade. It, it is an art, and um, either you can or you can't. In Nick's case, you you can and can't both at the same time. I'm just joking. Nick's doing good over here. My boy works for me. My man, over here. So, so we're going to lay down our next strips. This is a small, one of the smaller tanks we make here. You know what I mean? So, uh, we actually have enough in here. Do the rest. Huh? It's hard to say. How are you doing all day, buddy? Pretty sure they're lifting, but they're not separating from that. Just make sure when they fall back in, if you see mold, trim easily from the outside. Scour from the outside. No. Like, like from the outside, scour. Tanks. These ones don't take a lot of strips to make. They're really wet. These ones are, so we'll take one in there. Right, so that. This might actually get me through my part. We'll see. I might. I might get giddy, I might get anxious and do some more strips, play it safe, but we're looking pretty good right now. So, I push them in a little bit with my fingers to kind of get them to seat, and then I'll work the air out with, uh, with a brush. here. So I'm going to work the, all the radiuses again with the brush. Work a, and you can see the air kind of working its way out of the laminate. This up front area is very critical. This tank is for an XR100.
bolts on and other small frame, mostly mad dog bikes, smaller vintage bikes, low 100s, 200s, things of that nature. Kits bikes, if you're into that kind of thing, a little super mini deal. Cool little setup that Goon Glass Rubber offers for your machines. So we're going to get her all laid in there. So that's pretty much it for this one. Like I said, we're just going to play her safe. Get plenty wet in here. And that's it. So it takes about 10 minutes to do a gas tank, plus or minus. Um, yeah, it's pretty easy, straightforward. Um, I haven't seen any videos of anybody doing this online. So if you guys are looking at trying to take some of my business or compete with me, I'm showing you right now. So, but that's pretty much it. This is what we got going: gas tank, lamination, putting the halves together, laminating, caulking the outside edge, and then laminate in there, and let it dry, and then I actually come through with a wet brush. So we don't have any kind of dry mat and it has a little bit of a, a more aesthetic appeal. You put your hands under there, you won't get hit by any striped fibers. So that's pretty much it. Guys, let's make their track great again.